you're listening to independent tv7 as it is uh, the headline which says uh, on subsidy enugu residents express disapproval over suspension of labor protest the suspension of protest over la- over harsh uh, economic policies of President Bola Tinubu by the Nigerian Labour Congress. And the Trade Union Congress betrays the majority of Nigerians. Okay. Enugu residents uh, who spoke with uh, the Whistler on Thursday said uh, the protests uh, also have continued until the pump price of PMS is returned to what it was before President Bola Tinubu took over on May 29, 2023, or if fiscal measures had to come. To conclude and caution the impact are implemented. Tinubu had on assumption of office announced the removal of fuel subsidy, uh, which triggered the price of PMS uh, from 213 naira to 617 naira. Amechi Eze said, I know there is a court order uh, restraining the organized labor from going on strike. And going on strike, uh, but I see no reason why such. Uh, should be obeyed because governments at all levels do not obey court orders, uh, but they know how to rush to court to seek constitutional rights when matters uh, go against them. Hmm. I personally wanted the protest to continue, including indefinite strike actions. Well, the point I, I want to emphasize on is the point Amechi is said. said once again, I know. Uh, is a court order restraining the organized labor from going on strike. But I see no reason why such uh, should be obeyed because governments at all levels do not obey court orders, but they know how to rush to court uh, to seek constitutional rights when matters uh, go against them. I personally wanted to protest, or I wanted the protest uh, to continue, including indefinite strike actions, but in a nutshell, when it involves matters against the government or the people uh, that call themselves the judiciary, that's when they quickly, you know, attend to it. But when it comes to the masses, the public, they do not have any say, which is not the right thing to do. Uh, now, a Chinwike Ogbu, a unionist, said labor shouldn't have uh, a resign- a rescinded because the masses believe labor is our last hope but is this how labor is going to do but this labor is no more but i think as it used to be they said they held a fruitful discussion with the president how fruitful is the discussion for nigerian masses uh, this is a sellout uh, well, what, uh, what i believe is that you know from the previous article which was read and i understood vividly that uh, tinumbu and the labor the reason why the strike did not you know, persist, not because uh, they do not have uh, an agenda, but they already had an agreement on what to do. Firstly, uh, Tinumbu, in the conversation and in all uh, what he said during the meeting, said promises that before December or December, uh, the Port Harcourt refinery will start working. And so other promises that he made, uh, so that they would you know, bring down their agitation and protest, though it's not violence, mm. but I believe a uh, protest is the right of every citizen if things are not going the way it should. Every day should be for protest. If I had to look by what the government is doing and by what the economy is putting on people, we should protest every day. But because Nigerians either they know their right or they do not know their right. In the administration of President Buhari, we saw so many things you know that was against the constitution and uh, it is now what we believe as nigeria being a contraption or rather is an autocratic state uh, because when the democracy itself is saying the policy must be followed vividly the system must be, must be followed because there is a system in place uh, there's a policy in place and democracy the, def- the definition of it which says uh, uh, Democracy is the government of the people, for the people, and by the people, for those that do not know that. Yes, if you and I and you or thereabout, we agree on one cause, that is when we can move forward. But if labor is 
keeping you know to his promise by protesting continuous uh, continuously and uh, we see that uh, there are no changes that is when we can even say god and your hand with it uh, well uh, i would say barista ben Unwoye, former chairman of the all progressive congress and we said said uh, said labor did well to have obeyed the court order it is true that ahead of uh, removing the subsidy the fundamentals uh, ought to have uh, been carried out uh, such as making our refineries functional uh, but uh, labor suspending uh, the protest after meeting with the president means that they might have seen the sincerity in his submission it is good to have him the benefit of doubt and again protest is uh, different from strike labor protested yesterday not a strike they didn't go on strike they only protested to let uh, the president know that this is our plight and this is what we feel from our own side uh, labor representing uh, the masses because it's the nigerian labor congress so anything as a report that they give is what will stand as verdict L protest wasn't strike they have not gone on that strike but if they will go on indefinite strike it simply means the president did not adhere to their call. Now, furthermore, Alex Eze, student of mass communication, said ex-president Buhari kept promising to fix our refineries for eight years. He left as the nation's petroleum minister but achieved nothing. Tinubu won't uh, be angry uh, and uh, won't do anything different. Uh, Tinubu is doing as if he's not uh, prepared for his job. He would have started by fixing at least one of our refineries or shown commitment towards uh, fixing them. Uh, Charles Ogu, a lawyer, said the uh, labor was not uh, serious, okay? They would have uh, collaborated uh, with civil society organizations and uh, labor cannot uh, demonstrate effectively over subsidy without involving other relevant bodies or unions uh, because it is a matter concerning everybody. Uh, what they did yesterday is only in their interest. Oh, so we remain where we are. If salaries are in, uh, increased or palliatives provided, the masses won't benefit optimally. Uh, it will only be for government employees, so labor should expand its scope by involving relevant unions if they are simply not acting a script. And it has been recalled that the organized labor on Thursday announced that it had suspended its protest after holding a fruitful discussion with the government. Wow with the government well this is where i'm going to draw the curtain i like to share your views in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as independent tv7 thanks for listening and god bless you